Here you go, boy. All right, I got chicken leg. Look at them, chicken leg. Look at them. Drumsticks. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now, uh, Illy gave me a really good idea. He was, we were talking about me running out of fuel, and all, most of my fuel components are kind of, really shouldn't be running out of fuel. So, he said, what about the sock on the fuel pump? And I have not changed the sock in at least three or four years. When my fuel pump went out last, the wall broke, it burnt out, and I got a new one, I didn't get the kit. So we have the old sock on there, it looked okay, but you guys know E85 gets a little gummy. So we're actually going to rip the fuel pump out real quick and see if a new sock uh, might be in store. All right, well, it is now nighttime, and it is a proprietary uh, fuel pump sock or strainer, whatever you want to call it. So I did have to order one. Uh, it'll be here in a few days. It kind of sucks, but it's all good. At least we probably found a smoking gun, and we'll go from there. But the big one right now is we need to get my jack fixed. We got to service it, get some, bleed some air out of it, see what's going on. Uh, good old Harbor Freight Jack, baby. And you know I watch some fucking YouTube videos on uh, how to do this. Alrighty. Same on the other side. Of course, the shadow is right on it. Just pumping it. We have it all the way loose. So the jack is not jacking. Oh yeah, let's see what we got, I think this worked. Yeah, it wasn't even really pumping, it would lift like a little and then just stop, so very dangerous, hopefully this worked. Yeah, we're we're rocking. Sweet. Now, the reason we fixed this dude, introducing the next project is a uh, what O2 Camry uh, has a pretty bad transmission fluid leak. So we're gonna try and diagnose it. It sounds like the tranny was kind of smoking when they turned it off. So I think it's shot. We're gonna rip the pan off, see if we have some debris in there, and. Uh, Go from there. Well, I didn't get it on camera, but the jack worked great. Uh, a little sketchy. So luckily the car is pretty much where it needs to be. It was really angled this way quite a bit from the tow truck. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good. And we have a little bit of room on this side. The transmission's on this side. So we'll have a little more working room. But uh, yeah, let's jack it up and see if we can at least drain the fluid. 
and we're at the front. Let's see where our jacking point, that jack off point's gonna be. All right, so it is all the way. It's not this thing, it's that guy. Yeah, it's all. Anyways. Yeah, that's it. Ah, can't find my jack handle, so big Bertha. Very nice. Let's freaking see if we can find this transmission drain. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. I think. Yeah, it's got to be. All right, YouTube video. I mean, it's got to be that, right? It has to be. That's the engine over there. That's the transmission. Good old two minutes of YouTube, and it is a 10 millimeter hex. For the transmission drain. Oh yeah, we need this dude. Alrighty. So let's see what we got. I'm interested to see what this fluid looks like. Ooh, it looks pretty dirty. Wow. Hmm. We'll see. We're gonna take this pan off here. Uh, maybe not tonight, but definitely ASAP. All right, let's see what we got. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's not a great color. It doesn't smell horrible, but um. Yeah, if we let's put a magnet in it and see what happens. Hmm. Yeah, you know, definitely feels a little gritty. All right, four percent battery, so. Let's try and do this. We are basically trying to get these two bolts right there. And uh, I've heard it sucks ass, so uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to record. But if we can get these, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Fucking lip. Fuck you, lip. All right, well, that was just riveting, you know? So, uh, you know, really happy what, that we found the fuel pump sock was actually clogged for Mr. Jack Black. So we got that on order. Got started on the old uh, project here. We're gonna see what we can do. I think we're gonna have to pull the transmission no matter what to f replace the seal, the transmission pump seal. Got to take it out anyways, but I'm hoping the transmission isn't cooked. So, anyways, if you like it, give a like. Really appreciate it. The comments are great. The subscribes right down there. It's amazing. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Later.